All right, so my name is Paul Allen. I'm with uh, Vapor Sense, this is the company I work for, but we're spinning out a new product called the Sig Zig. And uh, what happened was a couple years ago, we started making these chemical sensors. They're super awesome chemical sensors, but we lack the uh, hardware to be able to read them. And so what we were doing, we were buying off the shelf data loggers and the performance, we kept running into the noise floor of the data loggers all the time. So whether we liked it or not, we had to make our own data logger. And uh, so the final version of our hardware for our chemical sensor, I, um, I started tapping, I'd tap wires into it and I'd use it around the lab to gather data. And so my boss one day came in, he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, we, didn't make, we just made this super awesome data logger. And I just, I was so excited like to, that how well the noise performance was and how simple it was to use. So he, he told me, he's like, well, we can make a real data logger. You don't, we don't have to use hacked boards anymore. So this is what basically came of it. Uh, we have the 24-bit eight-channel version. Um, it's zero to five volts, but the noise is uh, less than a microvolt of noise. And then we have a cheaper, this one's, this one's 399, this one's 199. This cheaper version, it's four channel. Uh, they're differential, it's 18 bit. And um, the noise is a couple, uh, it's like 10 to 12 microvolts. And um, let's see, you can hook up any analog sensor um, and we also are gonna make little adapter boards you can put on to scale scale the voltage if you need more voltage range or maybe you wanna measure current, you wanna convert it to voltage. Uh, this is just, example yeah, this is really simple. So it's just got like a pressure sensor and then I'm, I'm totally a hardware guy, I'm not a software guy, but I, I wrote this in processing and basically you just, you know, you push on the pressure sensor and you can see it go up and see it go down and it's actually kind of fun to try to see if you can hold it in the middle. I'm so excited that I'm talking for Hackaday that I'm shaking, so it's kind of whole whole stable. And uh, what's the sample rate on this? Uh, so the, again, we're actually kind of limited by software, and that's more because I'm not an expert at it. But this one's uh, this one hardware maxes out at about 240 samples a second. Um, this one could potentially go up to about 30,000 samples per second, but it's not until we figure out some better communication protocol that we'll be able to reach that. Continuously streaming the data? Yeah, it's real time, continuously streaming it. Um, it stores it all in a, our, our real software stores it all in just like a dot CSV, so you can pull into Excel or MATLAB or whatever you want, really. And um, we're hoping that other people will kind of take the open source side and run with it, and maybe we can um, see what else other people come up with, maybe to monitor plant growth, you know, soil moisture, the light. Uh, we also met some people that maybe would use it for measuring brain waves. And uh, there was a cool guy, he works on race cars, and he said he wants to put sensors all around the race car and be able to monitor that. And if people want to learn more about it, where can they go? Oh, uh, we have a website. It's uh, www.sigzig.com. It's pretty simple. The name is the website. And um, yeah, I, I'm excited about it. I like using it. And so we thought, hey, anybody else care? As far as the lights and stuff, why not? It's too, you got it, right? So. Great. Well, thank you so much for telling us about it today. All right, have fun.